I want to share a piece that I wrote for little black girls, and I call it Black Girl Fly. Imagine little black girl, maybe nine, maybe ten. She solemnly swears to herself she will win. She will write her thoughts. She will read them loud. She will speak her mind. She'll be black and proud. She's gonna light up the world with her futuristic vision about what our world would look like if we fought for abolition of the systems that are founded on a mass superstition that demand that our minds and our bodies are imprisoned. Yes, she's gonna do all that. But in order to do that, she has to dodge the things that hold her back, like assumptions made about who she is and what she should do and how she should live like be a good girl and don't make no noise and go play with Barbies and these pink ass toys and your strength is no match for the strength of the boys and she knows that ignorance given power destroys but she won't be held back no she won't do that yes she will push through that's what black girls do and she has no limit she exceeds the sky she is strength and power that you can't deny she will challenge authority no she won't comply she will change the world yes she will go high and I'll be shading my eyes as I look in the sky what I see in the clouds that young black girl fly get it black girl fly go black girl fly come on black girl fly yes black girl fly and I'll be shading my eyes as I look in the sky what I see in the clouds that young black girl fly praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord thank God for another day of this program life reboots it's been a wonderful time in the presence of God in this program. And I'm sure our lives have been imparted by the words that has been coming. Life reboots. Restarting our life afresh. In 2022, as we follow the word that we are hearing, putting into practice those words, I believe that 2022 will not be the same. 2022 shall not be the same for every one of us as we put these words to practice. This is the seventh day. And seventh means perfection. God will perfect every word that he has spoken unto us in this program. And as we restart our life for 2022, our lives shall not be the same. We shall be transformed. We shall start on a new slate in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the program. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to bless God's name for the privilege God has given unto us to see uh, the 30, 38th day in the month of December. I want to appreciate God for all that he has done. Lord, we say thank you this day. We exalt and more God in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate God for this program because even as a convener, there's a lot that I have learned. There's a lot that I'm learning. And that's just, that's just the truth. You know, by the Spirit of God, I, you know, this program was put in place and then great men were called. And to the glory of God from... Um, uh, the person of Pastor Green Ademola to the second preacher, and that's in the person of um, 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 Pastor, this Pastor Oga Okwe, this Pastor uh, Afonya Omei, there is um, um, one of my son. Sam Tari, Samuel Dix, Dixon, popularly known as Sam Tari, uh, photography, um, Emeka also the social media strategist, and then there are, these are people that, you know, listening to them, dishing out God's word, challenging <clears throat> people, indeed I have learned a lot, and if I may say, if you have missed, if you have missed any of uh, the days, uh, you know, thank God for social media. You can still go there and uh, look at those videos. I want to beg you to even go there and look at those videos. Um, all of them at Obadevola Praise, Obadevola Praise. I know Obadevola, Obadevola Praise on a social media platform. 
and that's uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And I want to encourage you also, if the the program has been a blessing to you, please help or share this content to people. Uh, our responsibility is to preach the gospel. Our responsibility is to impact people. That's all we. That's the reason. That's the essence of you know, encouraging you to share. Not because we are looking for viewers. I boast about it. People that you know watch our program, listen to our content. They know that they, what we dish out, what we give to people, is undiluted word of God. We don't mix it. And as by instruction, also God, you know, uh, told us to build according to pattern, as in follow His order, and that's what we have been doing. And I boast about it to the glory of God. Close to thirty years, we've been doing this. So we don't want to shortchange it for anything. We don't want to change it for anything. So please, uh, and like I said, I want to appreciate the men of God that have been a blessing to us. I want to give praise to God for their life. I pray for them that God <clears throat> will, you know, replenish them, bless them, reward them in the name of Jesus. Indeed, I, I seriously, I am grateful for what uh, they gave, you know, the wealth of knowledge, you know, they gave. Uh, today, I, the concluding part is today, and I don't want to bore you with uh, anything. I just want to conclude uh, with, uh, you know, if, if you must know, uh, the topic or the theme for this program is Life Rebuilt. And... I'm sure listening to other speakers, they've dealt with definition, they've dealt with um, what it means to rebuild, what life is all about. And because I give, I give them my spirit of God specific instruction on uh, what I needed them to share about, on righteousness, on hope, on setting goals, on potentials, and then um, challenging young people. And today, in conclusion, I want you to I want you to know, understand this night uh, that life itself, just like the computer, when you observe that your computer is lagging, your computer is dragging, your computer is not doing what it ought to do, the common sense is you restart it. The common sense is to check what is wrong with it. The common sense is to ask question from the manufacturer or from the technical or from people that understand. Just the common sense. So same thing also goes when it comes to your life, when it comes to our life, when you see that certain things that is not working, when you see that certain thing that is not happening, when you see that it's a bit of dryness, when you see that you are you are lagging, you are you know things are not working the way it ought to work. The common sense is to ask the manufacturer. The common sense is to begin to ask questions. The common sense is to talk to the person that created you. The, the common sense is begin to you know, ask people that knows more than you. And that's what life reboot is all about. Rethinking, pausing, pondering, asking questions, shutting yourself down, separating yourself. You know, I know one thing for sure that many since this is the end of the year, you're making a new resolution, you know, planning for next year. And don't you think it is high time for you to reboot your life? When I say reboot your life, I'm talking about it is not about making your resolution alone. Because today now many, that is what they want to do. Okay, this time, okay, I will not do this. I will not. And most of the time, more often than not, the new resolution they make is just about themselves being selfish. And that's why there's always a repetition of the things that happened in previous year because they are they are not involving God. I can assure you until the first of December, people will churches will be full. But I can also, also assure you. What happened last year will happen again. 2022, as a matter of fact, for me, is, will go, will, uh, is going to be a great, a wonderful year. 
but the question is how prepared are you and that's why this program is put in place to prepare you for 2022 it will be a lie to tell you that 2022 will be a rosy year wonderful year no challenges no death no accidents it will be a lie it will, it will be a lie to tell you that okay the virus that is that is ravaging the world the pandemic I know, I know there's the latest one now will no end it will be a lie how do i know it's in the word of god read your bible bible talks about perilous times the bible talks about war the bible talks about hardship but the same bible also gave a way out out of whatever that what and that's why i know one thing for sure next year gonna be a great year would it be void of problems no would it be void of challenges no and that's why it is important for you to understand these teachings for instance on the first day you know we are reminded of having right standing with god righteousness Bible says righteousness exalts in nature Sin is a reproach. You are living in sin. The Bible says you are enemy of God. Now imagine, you know, you don't have right standing with God. How will God bless you? So this program is put in place to remind you of these things. So you need to postponder everything about your life. Reboot your life if there, if, you, if there are things in your life that is not working. Ask question, and that's why today I want to remind you, the cocoa of the cocoa. I mean, don't use that word. You want to succeed. You want to live a successful life. There is a need for you to align yourself with the word of God. Why? I will tell you. In just few minutes because life reboots if you want to reboot your life you need to align yourself with the Word of God what we protected in 2022 you need to align yourself with the Word of God let me pause also by encouraging you please I beg you I said that when I started talking there's a need for you to help us to share this content I'm sure you see on the screen also that, remind, that reminds you, that tell, encourages you to help or share. The reason why we're saying this is there's a lot, or my people say my people perish for lack of knowledge. There's a lot of people there that those don't know these things that we are talking about. And when you help or share, they see these things and then they learn from it. Hallelujah. So and that's why, that's why I, I, know, I need to encourage you to help or share. Help or share. Thank your friend. If they don't see it, that something is wrong because I don't like people tagging me also. But tag them if they will appreciate it. Send it the link to copy the link and send it to them. So you can watch on your videos. This thing. Facebook is the cheapest. So that your life, no matter like I said before, you know, somebody said, and there's a, a bit of truth in it. If you want to hide anything, hide it from all these things. If I hide anything from People from Christians, especially from black uh, men, say this thing is just they won't go in. And how can you reboot your life? How can you grow? How can you get better if this information you are running away from them, or if this information is not available to you? I know that sometimes I tell people that some of the things that we know today we learned it by ourselves because. We don't have access to these things by growing up as children of God. And today it has gotten be far, far better. So 2022 will be a great year for you if you begin to see things this way. You know, men, you know, the, you know the first speaker spoke about righteousness. We spoke about uh, setting goals for yourself. You know, coincidentally, on Sunday, uh, my pastor, you know, shared concerning certain goals. There are goals that you can do. There are goals you cannot do. There are goals I need to outsource to somebody. 
Their goals are even desired, but you can't even do it by yourself. Many today are doing that. They, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have this song that I familiar song, sweet song. Kesara said that whatever will be, will be. It's a stupid song because whatever will be, will never be. There are needs, there's a need for you to make plans. These days, people are so spiritual. It that does not work, let him not eat. But you see, today, people don't want to work and they want to eat. How? God says, it's the reward of them that diligently seek me. But you see, today, many don't want to seek God. Many don't want to do anything, but they want to have you no know, affluence. They want to have wealth. They want to have this, want to have that. Especially our young people. Their sense of oh, no, entitlement, as if, as if what they did, they don't work for. They want to get it. 2022 will be hard for people because this simple thing that we're talking about, many today don't want to do. They don't, they don't want to have right standing with God. They want to set goals. The talent, the potential God has given to them, they, they are joking with that, toiling with it. Most of them have rubbished it. And then how do you survive? And that's why frustration has set in for many people. As a matter of fact, many people are, are, will carry frustration from 2021 to 2022. But in the name of Jesus, God forbid that for you in Jesus' name. Many people are praying as, as in they are pray, praying heavily today. But they are so ignorant. They are ignoramus. They are foolish. They are stupid. I'm not going to use those words. They are heavy words. They are not doing anything. I know sometimes I share with people, I tell people, I'm a full-time pastor. I'm a full-time guardian counselor. And I will walk I'm a workaholic. I don't sit in my house. I go to my office. There are things I do that God permits me to do just in the ministry. I don't have a church. But we have Christians today that say they are full-time ministry. They lazy up and down. 2022 will be a hard year for you if you don't consider if you don't rebuild your life now, if you don't ponder, if you don't stop, if you don't restart yourself, if you don't reset yourself, if you don't begin to put these things in place, don't forget what I want to share about, I will still come to it. To rebuild your life, you need to begin to align yourself with the word of God. The scripture says in Psalm, Say, your word have I hidden in my soul that I will not sin against you. Which word of God are you holding on to? I will share that. Just for in a bit. What the word of God will do for you. Do you know, regardless of what is happening in the world, the pandemic, I will say, when a man that says that it's a cancer, that we the children of God that exists, they will say there's a little up. If you don't know that, now if you don't have an understanding about that, you'll just be living a careless life. And the devil will be you know, frustrating you. The devil. You know, I hear people share testimony and say, uh, Daddy, this is happening to me. You know, Pastor Lumi Demano said something on Sunday. He said, many people are foolish thinking that they are not blessed. The scripture says, we are blessed. Read your Bible very well. We are already blessed. But in pray, sometimes we pray foolish prayer. God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. And God is asking, so I'm, I've already blessed you. What kind of blessing do you want? Praise God. What? God is a specific God. So as you go into this 2022, there's a need for you to put your life in the right perspective. As a matter of fact, let me refer to those messages. From day one till the date, put them in the right perspective. My pastor spoke about hope. Yes, the Bible says hope defined may be our sin. But don't forget, one of the things he said, he said without faith, there can be hope. And without uh, uh, hope, there can be faith. Two of them work together. Yes, some things have happened to you this year. That doesn't mean that that is the end of you. Because when you lack hope, you can't have faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. 
So I want to encourage you again, go back to those teachings and then reboost yourself. Reboost yourself. Rebuild yourself. Restart yourself. Reset yourself. Because 2022 is determined by you. Not even by God. Not even by devil. Yes. Not even by God. Not even by devil. Because God has already blessed you. Praise God. Aligning yourself with the word of God is so much important. Why? Now understand that most products come with a manual. And whether you like it or not, however way you see it, you are a product of a manufacturer, a producer. And this time around, it is God. The need for you to begin to align yourself with the word of God is one. Somebody said, and let me read it. We have an internal compass that guides our decision making based on the values of the word of God. This is the Holy Spirit who guides you in the truth, revealing you the mind of God. John 16 verse 13 says, the Apostle Paul puts it this way, however, when he, the Holy Spirit, has come, he will guide you in all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. He will tell you things to come. John 16 verse 13. And somebody said, Edwin Lewis Cole said, peace is the umpire for doing the will of God. When you align yourself with the word of God, you have peace of mind. Many today don't have peace. And that is why, you know, there's a lot of health issue. There's, that's why there's a lot of, you know, depression, madness, insanity, whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately, this will increase in 2022. This is a life reboot uh, program. Uh, brought to you by the Make Me Cows World. And the reason is to prepare you for 2022. I'm talking about aligning yourself with the Word of God. Why do you need to align yourself with the Word of God? One, when you align yourself with the Word of God, it will give you peace of mind. Even when things are not working the way you, you, you expect it to work, but for the fact that you are, you know what the word of God says. You are not doing it by yourself. You are not just doing things anyhow. You have peace of mind. Somebody said, which is by the word of God. He said this, now, apart from uh, Edwin, Edwin Cole, that said the peace of God as an umpire. Same thing. Helps to guide you. Helps to caution you. That's to cool you down. It starts as a coolant. Now, regardless of what I am saying, regardless of what is happening, people don't know that it's when you, when you choose to do your own thing instead of God's, you know, that you begin to experience trouble. But when you align yourself with the word of God, regardless of what the devil will throw to you, the Holy Spirit will be there to just give you say, guy, calm down. No, just calm down. No, relax. Whatever that the devil is throwing, you just calm down. And I can assure you, I have been in a situation whereby I am, it's like, what is this? What is this? What is this? And then the Holy Spirit say, boy, calm down. So as you go again into 2022, which is in the next few hours, align yourself with the word of God. When you do that, you get the peace of mind. Praise God. Number two, because of my time, blessing and increase. When you align yourself with the word of God, blessing and increase be, is your portion. Now, the ultimate purpose of life is to bring glory to God and advance God's kingdom's agenda. He loves to show himself mighty on your behalf so that the earth may know that there is a God in heaven. 
So when you walk in obedience, it will validate your purpose by causing you to prosper. When you walk in obedience, when you align yourself with God's word, and I have a popular scripture that I always like, that is always serve as, as a comfort to me. See, the words have I spoken. I'm practicing the scripture now, but it will not come back. The words, the word of God will not come back to me void, but it shall accomplish the purpose to which I have sent it. As I prefer by verse 11. The popular scripture. So that what comes forth me. That whatever God says, he means it. And whatever he says, he, you know, he, 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 he authenticates it. He does not lie. In the popular scriptures in Numbers 23. It's not some matter which lie. doesn't repent of his word. Praise God. The When you align yourself with the word of God in 2022, blessing and increase. And increase is just a natural thing for you. Now let me read the scripture in Psalm 1, Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Say, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of discomfort, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his and in his law he may stay day and night. He shall not he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. His leaves shall not wither, and whether he does, and whatever he does shall prosper. Blessed is the man. Now the word blessed is can different uh, different. How will I put it now? Different meaning to it. Prosper, increase. The man prosper. Bible says, it like it, it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, in due season. Meaning, this person will not lack. When you align yourself with the word of God, when you know, meaning when you know what God says you should do, and you do them, you prosper, you are blessed, you will increase. Why do you think many today, many today, they, they, are, they don't have anything to show for what you are doing, for what they are doing? I wrote here, say, the blessing was not just for them, but the benefit of those they lead to. When you are careful to obey God's word, God's will, it will certainly bless you so that you become a blessing to those around you as well to understand this thing listen this is life reboot the essence is to challenge you the essence is to have you make you have a rethink about your life how you have been living your life and that's why from day one to now what we have been saying is have a rethink change your life reset your life bring back god into your life Bring back God into your marriage. I wish God would permit him to share concerning things concerning marriages. Because of, because of our time. There's a, even in marriages today, you know, let me use the word, so-called Christian. God is not in their marriage. Between the husband, between the wife, God is not as far from their marriage. Then how will God prosper you? How will God prosper the work of your hands? Do you know if there are continuous contention uh no uh, 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 uh sin when i say sin between husband and wife that marriage can be blessed that marriage cannot prosper and as a matter of fact if if that is happening so for sure sin is found in one thing and bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto god and a sinner bible says you are an enemy of god how will your marriage work? I don't want to go into that. So many, many, two, there's a lot that is happening. So you need to go align yourself back to God. Align yourself back to the word of God. For you to rebuild your life, for you to reset your life, for you to restart your life, go back to the word of God. What has God said? Don't forget what I said from the beginning. You 
are a product of a manufacturer and you need to follow the manual and what is the manual for you as a child of God the word of God so number one I said benefit of aligning yourself with the word of God you have peace of mind number two you have you have blessing and in and, and increase and I read Psalm 1 1 to 3 Last one, let me just share the last one. Security, securing the destiny of future generation. You know, Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants might live. You know, coincidentally, this season first day period people kept coming you know, came to my house and we are sharing and i asked the question <clears throat> do you think your past generation what they left <coughs> on ground for you do you think your life would have been better than this and the answer was yes because the person i was speaking to you know they have to start by themselves there are generations of family today they are enjoying because of what they met on ground. Now, I said something yesterday. Your choice today will have an impact on future generations and on, that, on understanding the weight of that will help you make the right ones. Choosing to be selfless and doing what God commands you will attract a blessing to your life that will pass on to your children and generation after that. Don't forget, the focus is align yourself to the word of God. When you do that, you, are, you will secure the destiny of future generation. What do we have today? You know, coincidentally also, I was with one of my son, a phone engineer, and we were talking about parenting. The problem, one of the major problem we have today with the young people is parenting. As old as I am, and I dare to say it to everybody, there are things I will never do because of the training we, we got. <laughs> Who are you that you will do so? Even till now, as their parents, I dare not. But the kind of parent that we have today, many parents have failed their children. And if you are a parent today, I want to encourage, I want to beg you by God's mercy. Because one of the things I, I, I tell parents is that sometimes parents forget that they will grow old. That's one part of it. Yes, they will give us, they will stewardship, they will give an account to God. But they forget they will grow old and you will need the help of these young ones. Now, when they say need help, I'm not talking about monetary alone. For them to be around, for them to assist you, for them to just be around you. And if by now you're not training them, because then they'll move on a, from an apartment to another place. And then where I was before, it was like zero parenting. Parents encouraging their children to go into frauding people. And they will raise prayer point for it. Deuteronomy encourages us about that. Now, some, somebody said, so the greatest legacy you can pass on is that of the faith. The blessing is hope to the third and fourth generation in your lineage. Let me read it again. The greatest legacy you can pass on is that of the faith. Do you know some pastor children today are far worse than sinners? Praise God. I want to encourage you today. Please, by God's mercy, as we come to the end of Live Rebuild program, do not joke with your life. Mind you, I'm not saying, oh, He's a good person, is that No, I'm saying what God said we should say. 
I'm saying what the word of God says. Praise God. I'm sure you have listened to the speakers. I'm sure you 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 you, you heard what they say, their personal experience. Time will not permit us. There are things I will say to you. You ask me, how do I survive it? There are things that have happened to me. You ask me, how have I survived it? And that's why when I teach people, I don't want to just talk about the Bible alone. My personal life. Suffered health, suffered issues, suffered accidents. Even in marriage, the challenges I had. But I am here today to the glory of God. Praise God. Before I pray with you today, please, tomorrow is 31st. We are also going to we also we have a crossover service. And I want to be speaking concerning victory without a fight. That's what God said I should share with you. It won't be, you know, within 30 minutes to the glory of God, we are done. But you need to join me in that program. On the 31st, to cross over to the 1st of January 2022. The theme is Victory Without a Fight. And the name of Jesus, in coming 2022, you will be victorious without a fight in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you, please, the past videos that we have shared. As a matter of fact, the, we have a series of programs that we, that we organize every, almost every day. When I say every day, every day, I mean every day. We post every day on social media platform. <coughs> platforms. Go and look for them. They will bless your life. And please be encouraged. Help us share this our content. And finally, if I pray, support our cause. I'm sure you see on the screen. Support our cause. There's a lot that we do outside of social media. We do program as a social social media also. And we do in a community that God you know, puts in our mind to do. So please do support our cause. There's the bank details on the screen there. Um, be a covenant partner. Maybe you want to support us daily, weekly, monthly, whichever way, please do. Call the numbers there and I'll see you on the caller on the screen if you need a counselor or if you need to ask one or two questions from us. We are a fighter ground that you can sow your seed. Do that and God bless you in Jesus' name. Once again, Lord, I ask on behalf of the sons and daughter for your blessings in the name of Jesus. I ask that you will help them to refocus their life, to bring back to focus you as a center point in their life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for God for grace to be able to rebuild their lives afresh. I ask for grace to be able to restart their life afresh, their life, their business, their marriages in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for God strength, O oh God, for that man, for that woman that is still struggling with one addiction or the other in the name of Jesus. I ask, O oh God, for those who have not given their life to Christ, O oh God, for your power to convict, to convert them in the name of Jesus, to release themselves afresh to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we do praise, O oh God, to you be glory, to you be honor. Please, like I said, join me tomorrow from 12 a.m. as you cross over to 2022 on a social media platform at Oba Adebola Praise or Oba Adebola Praise I know. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Shalom.